I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. Therefore, with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. Amen. With joy. And in that day shall you say, praise the Lord. Call upon his name. Declare his doing among the people. Make mention that his name is exalted. Sing unto the Lord, for he had done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion, thou inhabitant of divine assembly ministries. For grace is the only one of Israel in our midst. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, be lifted.
of prophecy over that situation and know that the Lord is coming through for you. In the name of Jesus. For his mighty heart. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of trumpets. Praise him with the sanctuary and heart. With the sanctuary and heart. Praise him with the train bell and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God is faithful. He has kept us to see the eight months of the year. Brethren is not by power. It's not because we are righteous. Like I always say, it's not because we are holy. The Bible says our righteousness is like filthy rags. But His mercy has kept us. His mercy has brought us this far. His mercy is keeping us. And as we have come to today's Thanksgiving service, I want us to open our hearts before Him. I want us to praise Him. I want us to appreciate Him for His mighty heart. I want us to thank Him for His wondrous works, for those things He has been doing in our lives, for those things He has been doing in our families. I'm sure that every one of us, we have every reason, we have at least a reason to appreciate God for giving us life alone. It's more than enough to appreciate Him for bringing us here this morning that we are we are not aided in any form that we are alive that we are healed and healthy this is by his grace let's open our mouth and begin to appreciate this great god let's thank him let's worship him let's appreciate him he is worthy to be praised he is worthy to be praised. Let's open our mouth and appreciate God. Let's thank Him. He is faithful. There is no one that is like Him. There is no one that can be compared with our God. Let's appreciate God. How can we appreciate Him? Let's give us something. We give you all the 
month of August, Father, in this month of August, as we wait on you, Lord, Father, renew our strength and grant every of our heart desire. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and talk to God. That we be asked for your strength from above. In the name of Jesus, we ask for strength, O oh Lord, as we wait on you, O oh Lord. Let your strength shall be renewed, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, as you wait on you as a God, O oh Lord, put in your strength, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we will not wait on you in the name of God. In the mighty name of Jesus, every of our hands desire shall be found, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, every of our request, may transform our testimony, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we shall have written for something that we appreciate you, O Lord. We shall have God who must do the testify in your presence, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, thank you, God. Let there be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's commit today's service into the hand of God and the man of God that the Lord will use. That the Holy Spirit will have his way. That the Lord will take charge and take preeminence, take control over the service of today. In the name of Jesus. Father, we answer you as your will. As your way in the service of today, in the name of Jesus, let it be your son, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. For the Spirit moves like never before, moving at me, my faith is not, not in your heart, your praise is not me, in the name of Jesus. Let there be salvation, O oh Lord, let there be healing and deliverance, O oh Lord, let there be captive and set free, O oh Lord, let your name be glorified, at the end of every beginning, of every person, we shall not glory to your holy name, we worship you, O oh Lord. We give you all the glory. And be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And so, our Heavenly Father, we say thank you. Daddy, we want to appreciate you. We know you are always there for us. Even when we cannot see, we cannot feel you. We know you are there. We know you are with us. We know your presence is here, faithful God. We return all the glory to your name. Because we know that you move my in our midst today. In the thanksgiving of today, Father, in this month of August, continually our lips will continue to praise you, Lord. We will have reason to continue to thank you, to worship you, to bow in honor of your holy name, Lord. Thank you, faithful God. I know be your name, O oh Lord. In Jesus' most precious and holy name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. Let's be seated in the presence of God. Is that announcement and testimony time. Praise the Lord. Amen. The first announcement is Jesus is Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. And we we'll continue to be Lord in our lives in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. Our Sunday service usually starts with Sunday school at 10. But before then, we have our workers gather here together at 930 to pray. And we want to encourage as many of us that want to pray to join the workers in prayer. Prayer can never be too much. It can never be for only workers. We are all working in God's vineyard. Please let's be encouraged to join in the prayers, 9.30 to 10. By the end of the prayer at 10, we start our Sunday school. Praise the Lord. Amen. Every Tuesday is a prayer meeting by 7 p.m. here in the church, both online and offline. Although the prayer is the lead in you, but it is always being interpreted. We want to encourage us. Let's come out and pray. Let's come out and pray. We need to always call on our Father. We need to always pray to God, talk to Him, commune with our God. And as we call on God, the Lord will answer us in Jesus' name. Amen. Fridays is our empowerment time, and it's 7, 7 p.m. This, for now, it is only online. It's not on site yet. So we are encouraged to join both on Zoom and on Facebook. We can always join. Please, wherever we are, it's an opportunity for us to always you know, hear the word of God, study and learn at his feet. Praise the Lord. Every last Tuesday of the month is our communion service here. We want to encourage us to come and partake in the body and the blood of Jesus Christ. And as we partake and we believe, the Lord will answer every of our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Last Friday of the month is our women, sisters, ladies, 
BJ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are a sister in the house, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I can't hear also. We know a lot of sisters are here. If you are a sister in the house, I want to be looking at some people with mouth now. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's some people shout hallelujah. We are encouraging every sister in the house. This is not only for women. It's for every lady, every sister in the house. The video is every last Friday of the month. We gather here at 8. We start by having our dinner and then we start our prayer. Praise the Lord. And every first Friday of the month is our church vigil. Brethren, let's be encouraged to pray. Let's not feel too relaxed or too um, comfortable that, oh, I am here, I want to walk and just, you know, just walk and make pounds and stay in my house. And please, let's pray. If there is a person to pray, there is a God in heaven to answer. Amen. Please, I want to encourage us this morning to attend every program that is, you know, the church has put together. It's for our own good. It's for our growth, both spiritually and in every aspect. Last Friday was supposed to be our vigil. A lot of us were not here. Please, let's make it a time to always be in the presence of the Lord. And the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. If there's any other announcement I didn't make, our pastor will let us know. It's time for testimony. We have testifiers in the house. Are there testifiers in the house? I'm sure the Lord has been so good to us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow. I thank God for the salvation of my soul and for my family. I bless the name of God because the month of August happened to be my month. The month of celebration. But enemy just want to raise their own ugly head. I, by God's grace, this month, I will clock age that life begins. <laughs> so, and this particular month, the same day, my wedding will be 10 years. So, I should be the, this month should be my month anyway. But, only one thing I just ask from the Lord is that He should continue to be my guide. Because it's not easy, but it is easy. And then He us also to, anyway, the Lord is our. Shepherd, we shall know once. And we continue to be our God in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to give glory to Jesus. Um, I made a promise in prayer that I'll come and give thanks. I had a task, an exam sort of to take. I, I knew that I stood no chance. I was reading, but it wasn't happening. But I asked God to help me, and He helped me. So I said, I'll come back and give you praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Do you have more testifiers? Okay, you want to? Okay, please go ahead. <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. I just want to thank God. Um, I really don't know how to thank Him, but I'm just going to say thank God. So, um, it still feels very fresh in my head. God saved my husband. He brought him back to life twice. I don't know who gets that kind of gift from God. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> 10 years ago, this month, the devil tried to take him away. And two years ago, this same month, I remember him dying in my heart, arms, you know, I still, I've not gotten the courage, you know, to give this testimony because it still feels so fresh in my head, you know, I just want to thank God, I wish I could really um, tell this story, but I want you to know that there is a God, yes. and he hears us, yes. this man has died twice and come back, I don't know how God did it, but he did it. And I know that you will not die. Amen. You will fulfill your days. Please help me thank this God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to thank God.
because this is my month, my very special month. August is my very special. Thank God that things are it's also okay. This is a baby month, so, so I thank God for what is doing for my family. I thank God. Last year I clocked a very big year, and I thank God that. All the days of my life, I know that this is how we should be looking older. I'll be looking younger. Amen. And to push on to continue to be there for my children. Amen. It's work. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We have more testifiers. Okay. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank God for the gift of life and uh, the salvation of my soul. Because when I look back, I see changes. <laughs> the Eddie I used to go uh, 12, 15, 20 years back is no longer there. <laughs> so I thank God. Who is pushing me? Who is pushing my family? Who has been guiding us? Uh, lately, we, we made a trip to to France, and before that trip, a lot of a lot of temptation, a lot of problems on my side, not only on my family, on my own side. Well, I thank God that He protected me so much, Amen. and He He will always be with me. Amen. He never. No, 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 he never steal me, and he never say he wants us, he will always be beside me, yeah. that's all that matters, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> that's all, so, uh, Paris, although I have a couple of friends who are there, we enjoy it ourselves, we spend a couple of places, and it was really a fun. We thank God who saw us there, who kept us. No accidents, no casualty. We came back. You say, Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I also want to join everyone that said August is a special month. And August people are wonderful people. So say yes. I can also say yes. My husband's school is August. So it's a special month. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we want to thank you for the testimony of your children. We ask, O oh Lord, that continually in our midst, we will continue to hear sound of joy, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Testimony will not cease from amongst us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, faithful God. Thank in you. Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How many grateful people are in the house this morning? Are you grateful for the gifts God has given you? Yes. Are you grateful for the gift of life? Yes. Healing? Yes. Deliverance? Yes. Breakthrough? Yes. Sound health? Yes. Sound mind? Yes. If you're happy this morning, why not say thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. We have a number this morning that says a shame. And a shame means what? May you be blessed as a listen in Jesus' name. Amen. My victory is in your blood. My confidence is in your name.
Kingdom God until it is God that we run. Many of us we don't pray until it is God that we run. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. for the salvation of our soul. Thank you for protection. Thank you for provision. Thank you for deliverance. Thank you for your grace in our life. Thank you for breakthrough. Thank you for answer prayer. Thank you for January. All the way to August. Lord, we bless your holy name. May your name be praised in the name of Jesus Christ. August is a good month. Our month of new beginnings. Yeah. I decree over you and myself that prophetic war for this month will find an expression in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. This is the month where God's favor we swallow every lack in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Every need, every reproach, every shame in your life and in my life. His favor, we swallow them in the name of Jesus Christ. When you go out this month, you go out with joy in the name of Jesus Christ. And when you come back in, we are coming back with baskets of testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. This month, you will do little and youth great reward in the name of Jesus Christ. You and I will not fail this month. You will not die this month. You will not be stranded this month. And whatever you lay your hand upon this month shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we turn our glory back to you. As we look into your world this morning, open our hearts and let your name alone be glorified. May your name be praised forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Pray to hand together for Jesus. And let's have our seat. God bless you. Happy New Month. Amen. First Thessalonians chapter 5. First Thessalonians chapter 5. I'm going to read from 16 to 22. First Thessalonians chapter 5. Please don't let us make noise. Let's honor God. First Thessalonians 5. 16 to 22. I read, Rejoice always. Pray without season. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophecies. Test all things. Hold fast what is good. Abstain from every form of of evil. The Lord bless his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Briefly this morning, I want to speak on the topic, pleasing God. Say with me, pleasing God. May we find it easy to please God in the name of Jesus Christ. Praising God is the will of God for you. That is it. In Proverbs 16 verse 7, Proverbs 16 verse 7, the Bible says, when a man's will please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. So pleasing God is the key 
If you are not pleasing God, if I'm not pleasing God, God is not happy with us. So I want to show us today what are the things that matter to God. Things you and I can do that we continue to do that God will be pleased with us. When a man's way pleases the Lord, it makes even your enemy. That means you don't have to fight any battle. As some of us are sharing testimony now, I perceive in my spirit, at times when we are not pleasing God, God himself, we allow Satan, enemy, to torture you. At times we go through some fire and test that we don't need to go through. But because we are disobedient to him, the Lord forgive us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What matters to God must also matter to us. Of course, everything matters to God. His concern to you and I cannot be limited. God deeply cares about all life. Therefore, in your life, everything must matter to God. But number one, sacrifices of praise. Say that with me. Sacrifices of praise. Psalm 50, verse 12 to 14. Psalm 50. Verse 12 and to 14. Somebody can almost open to Hebrews 13, 15, and 16. I don't want to take much of our time. We're still going to praise God. Psalm 50, verse 12 to 14. Please listen to what God is saying. If I were hungry, I would not tell you. For the word is mine, and all its fullness. Will I eat the flesh of goods, or drink the blood of goods? What God wants for us, verse 14. Offer to God, what? Thanksgiving. And pay your vows. That's the most you remember when you are in need, you vow. That's true. God, if you provide this job, I will do this. I will do this. After God has provided the job, and you are comforted, you don't even remember anymore. Doing what I please God. We like it less. We like drink blood. Listen, there's no amount of money you can give God. There's no amount of money you can give God that will make God to change his mind. The best you can do is to appreciate God, to know how to thank him. Your tithe is so important to you. Your money your children, everything that God has given you is so important to you that you are using it. You are rubbing it in God's face like this. The Lord forgive us in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. One of the greatest sins of which you and I can commit is the sin of ingratitude. Many are not grateful, especially Christians. They are not grateful in many ways. Even to human beings. You help them, they show it to your face that what have you done? Imagine to God. The one who redeemed your life from destruction. The one who bless you, the one who keep you. If you die today, life continues. If I die today, life continues. What are we talking about? You are not that important. I am not that important. There are many people who are better than you. When God, when God re re rejected Saul, he told him, I find one who is more, more better than you. Can you see that? <coughs> Don't put too, too much emphasis on yourself that you are somebody, you are nobody. You and I have what? Nobody. Pay your vow. That's why if you know you cannot pay vow, do it. Make it initially. It is very important because God will never break His word. That's true. Don't make vows if you cannot keep it. You went to borrow money from somebody, even initially you know in your heart that you are not going to return the money. Christian. You know some people like that. They borrow money, they know they are not going to return the money. Christian. Don't mind me in the house, so you know that's what God is bringing. I know what I'm talking about. Some people, 
Don't worry, I'm just preaching. But you know. Yeah. Yes, Some people understand what I'm saying, yes. don't worry. But you know that you are not going to return the money. That's true. There are people like that. When you are trusting God for the good of, of the world, job, children, so many good things. You pray, you fast, you did everything. You are calling pastor day and night. After God has done, you can't even remember anyone. That's true. The Lord forgive us in the mighty name of Jesus. We are talking about what you can do and make God to be happy with you. Anybody? Hebrews 13, 15 and 16. God bless you. Therefore, by him, please pay attention. Yes. Let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. How many times? Continually, yes. yes. That is the fruit of our lips, hmm. giving thanks to his name. Yes. But do not forget to do good mm -hmm. and to share. For with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. God is yes. well pleased. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. God is well pleased by we continually taking it. Let's learn how to appreciate God and people. I've noticed one thing, including myself. We don't pray and praise good people in our life. But bad people, people who are troubled, we fast, we pray, God kill them. I thank God we don't kill them. I thank God praise that people in our life to reset our brain. Yes. How many times have you prayed for good people in your life? How many times? You have good money in love. How many times have you looked after her? You have a good family. How many times? You yourself ask yourself. But let God raise one wish. In your family, and start troubling everybody. You see people praying, fasting. God kill her. God may not kill her. You read the book of Acts where God said, I have raised army for myself that will trouble them. Wow. God will not allow trouble to come into your life in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. God himself can trouble you if you do not listen. Number two, what you can do to please God. First Timothy. I can perceive many people have food in the house today. We yes. come against it in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. No sickness in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. First Timothy 2 and verse 4. First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 4. Who desired all men to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. That place is talking about soul winning and discipleship. You've been in the church for 100 years. You have never won one soul like this. One soul. You don't even preach. You don't tell people about God. You are saved. Your children are okay. That's it. That's not life. Listen, financially, spiritually, in every aspect, if you don't care about what does, God is not pleased with you. It shouldn't be your family only. If we, God, has placed over your head and people have raised you to be here today, and like that, will you be here? That's why we must tell our children, no matter where God takes you to, your parents, their impact in your life cannot be up off. There are days, money that's supposed to use to eat, they release it just for you to pay school fees. The same thing, people in our life. Learn how to preach Christ. When you so for God, He's happy. He doesn't want anyone, just single like this, to perish. He wants the whole world to be what? To be saved. That is God's desire. Speak to your neighbor. They are going through. You know that they are going through. There's a lot of, of things you can do. You can give them food. You can be nice to them. But you know what you are doing, but they don't know. And you'll be praying for them. And God will touch them one day. Many of us, including myself, 
if we go to where we live now, we ask about us from our neighbor. What are they going to say? Are they going to say good things? We met a woman one day, me and my wife was doing prayer work. And we said, ah, we don't see you in church again. She said, ah, Pastor, I love, I love the church, I love the prayer. But the one who brought me, mm, I don't want to work with her anymore. As leader, we don't say anything, we just have to leave it there. I started saying she did it, she did that, she did it, I said, it is well. Also, I'm always careful of one thing. If you meet anybody that is re re reporting somebody to you, but he or she never have any fault, be careful of them. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Sure. Uh, I mean, I don't do, I remember when I was growing up, we fight and somebody beat me. I'm mean, right to say, what happened? I was just sitting and my dad said, I know you. You never had fault. You. Uh, and he was saying you about that. If you put water in your mouth, I know you, Yamina. The water will be there. I'm like, go, go away. <laughs> so winning and discipleship. The Lord will bless us. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In John chapter 4, because of our time. Look at how God won that woman, the Samaritan woman. Christ preached to him. When he said, give me water, he said, ah, if you drink this water, you are still going to be tested again. But I, the river of life. I listened to Pastor Tony Bakari, he said, he prayed, God, teach me how to win soon. Very easy. Mm. Is there anywhere you travel now? Intentionally, you will go to restaurants. Even if you just to buy water. Look at people. Passion. Have ah, passion for Christ. So, so when they come, you say, do you have river of life? Ah, what kind of water is that? <laughs> you don't do you have living water? Living water. And then we mention another water. No, I want living water. Ah, what kind of dragonous water is that or pure water? Is that? Ah, you don't know. Ah, let me show you. You go from Bible. Look at the way. And God will back his word. Hallelujah. Yeah. Number three, let's move on because of our time. Living by faith. faith. Romans 1 17. And that just shall live, not by emotion. Many of our women, I'm sorry, you will live by emotion. Any little thing, you ah, no, that's not how to live. <laughs> Men, you want to have peace in your house? You must understand your woman. You must be very, very patient today. I understand very well. When I see the face, that the face is not welcoming, I behave myself. <laughs> ah. Because we have to allow peace. The devil is very smart. <laughs> You've been fasting for a few days. And literally, women, he cares not taking that prayer. Sure, yeah. That's it. It can move you to slap your wife, it can move you to slap your husband. You can say, like our Sunday school teacher said, some word when you say it, 10 years to come, you will not forget. Why saying it? You are calling your wife names. You are abusing her mother. You are abusing your husband's mother. And you think that person will forgive. Ah, let's face the reality. Don't do it. You say because of Christ. So why is where is Christ when you are saying all that? God will help us. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And faith comes by hearing. Romans 10, 17. So the more we hear the word of God, the more we hear the word of God, the word of God must change us. If the word is not changing you, something is wrong with you. That's true. You've been coming to church for years and the word of God has not changed you at all. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Because the word of God, which is the truth, must always point us to right direction. That is the difference between truth, which is the word, and grace. That's why all these grace preacher, faith preacher, if you care is not taken, they will tell you you can continue to sin. And nothing will happen. No, they are missing it. There's a difference between that. John 1 14 and 17. The Bible says, Love came through Moses. Was grace and truth came to Jesus. So the word is what will point us 
God of God will reveal your sin. Uh, I've seen this way. And he will point you to the right direction. Yeah. But grace is the capacity to walk in righteousness. You can't do it on your own. I can't do it on my own. But with his grace, you can do it. Yes. So if you are willing to change, you will receive the grace. Yeah. That means we must grow in faith. Number four, because of our time. Maintaining a proper relationship with Christ. Daily. First John 5, 11 and verse 12. Let's read that. It's important. First John chapter 5. Verse 11 and 12. First John 5. 11 and 12. Look at this. And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. And this life is in his son, Jesus. He who has the son has life. And he who does not have the son of God does not have life. Just like John 3, 16 and 17. For God so loved the world, he gave. Yes. So the beloved and beloved son. Whosoever believe shall be saved. And we say, I don't want to believe. It's condemned. That's why you must believe in Jesus. God is Jesus, we know. But God has given Jesus that privilege. If you believe in God and you don't believe in Jesus, you are missing it. That's true. Am I preaching? Yes, sir. That's the word of God. The life is in his son. So to have the life, you must believe in Jesus. And we must maintain that relationship daily. God bless you. Many of us will come on Tuesday like this and Sunday we pray. Then you close your Bible. Next week. Ah, that's not how to do it. You have to be every, every day. Maybe I should say this now. Very early this morning, me and my wife, we did prayer work, preparing for the service. A woman is here, listen. It's the word of God for somebody. God said, your husband is not living in this country. I think he's preparing to come very soon. If your husband said, please, I don't want to go to this church. God said, you should not argue. Just listen. But if you, you can't do it by a or fighting. But if you want to stay here, God said, go and pray. I will meet you. That's the word of God for somebody. You have to meet. If we are not on prayer, are we going to receive that word? No. no. You want God to speak to you? Pray. We went out. While I was praying, we were preparing. Nobody will see us. At times, she go on that way, I go on my way. And you to do your own. Not everything on pastor. Not everything on people. Learn to pray. Learn to hear from God. This is how you can please God. There are things, listen to me, God will reveal to you, not even pastor. You will hear God. There are personal revelations. There are general revelations. Maintain a proper relationship with God. There's a Chinese proverb that says, Take care of the great mountain, and you will have no fear of a lack of wood or fuel. In other words, if you hold on to Christ, he will look after you. He's a jealous God. You can't be using him for your needs, and you let go. And when you have a need, you turn back. Oh, no, no, no. In the book of Malachi, God bless you. Job said, we man be robbing me. It's a dangerous God who, as loving as God is, <laughs> God is a consuming fire. You think you are using God, you are robbing God, you keep quiet. The way we, the day we speak, you won't like it. That will not be your story in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So for us to keep changing levels, we must maintain a proper relationship with God. We are here on Friday, only a few people came. Did you? Just two hours. And even at times we break for just one hour. And we do work. And I know many of us at all. Let's come and pray. Pray. 
Don't wait until there's a situation to pray about. It will not be too late for you. Amen. It will not be too late for me. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What else can we do to please God? Prayer. Philippian forces. Be anxious for nothing. In nothing, give thanks. Prayer. Made your request, not request, with S. That means whenever you have need, go to where? Go to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses human understanding will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Worrying is sin. Not giving thanks is sin. Okay? And whenever we realize we, are, we have sinned against God, we should confess it. That takes me to the next point. Confess your sin and forgive those who offend you. That's another way you can please God. Matthew 6, 14 and 15. Confess your what? Sin. Your sin. Not only that, forgive those who offend you. Many of us, we don't forgive people. I read the story of this man, uh, Macaroni. Many of us know him. He did skate on social media without Redeem University. I'm not going to go there because I'm not. But as a pastor, I support the guy. No, we cannot be behaving like mad people at times because we are Christians, we are pastors. Many pastors are so wicked in the name of righteousness. It's wrong. What is wrong is wrong. If you get it wrong as a pastor, I apologize. It's between me and God. If you don't forgive me, I don't care. But between me and God. This guy, gave, somebody gave back to this guy. Your parent, listen, if you are fighting someone's child, there is God who. It's just a woman. If you'll be fighting someone's child, like uh -uh. you have your own children. That's true. We should be careful. You can't be fighting someone's child. No matter what they have done, even because of God. <laughs> Leave them. That's true. I woke up one day very early. God said, woke up. And I opened our window. I saw two boys. No, one boy and a girl in our car. Beside our car. They are doing something. I marked their face. I traced them. I got to the house. And I went to the parent, father and mother. Do you know this person is my son? Warning. Please, 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 please. Because I have children, that's why. If he's an adult, I will just release the word against him. Simple as that. They sent him. I reviewed something. The man said, Warning. If you don't want to lose him, I just use that word to Shakara. Sorry, sorry. The man see me today. Pastor, how are you? So I'm fine. Not in this culture, sir. not anywhere. Oh. But if it's an adult, I will deal with the situation. But children, I want to be parents. I want them. Guess what? The parents did not know anything about it. Some people sent them. That's why we must train our children. No matter what is happening outside, tell your parents. Don't let somebody use you. They will not use you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Last, not the least, patience. Hebrews chapter 6. <coughs> Hebrews 6, 9 to 12. Are you with me? Hebrews 6, 9 to 12. But beloved, we are confident of better things concerning you. Yes, things that accompany salvation. Though we speak in this manner, for God is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love, which you have shown toward his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that each one of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end, verse 12, where we need that you do not become sluggish, but imitate those who through faith and what? Patient in all the promises of God. Don't be in haste. God is not slack when it comes to his word. No, God is not. God is not what? He's not slack. You read the first uh, of Peter. 
Some people think God is lack. No. And God is not forgetful. He is watching his world. Jeremiah chapter 1. He said, what can you see? I'm watching my world. I'm praying for you. This is your month in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God will come to pass in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Learn how to be patient. After you have prayed, after you have done everything, and it seems there's no change, wait. Do what? Wait. wait. God is at work. I'll say this then, we'll stand up. I saw on Instagram, like a door like this. A guy is here, and a guy is here, and the guy is here. So the one there, there's a cardboard written devil. The one here, I think angel or something, then God is here. So somebody is coming. The guy is going. God will now ask him to wait. Don't come. But the guy cannot see devil. And he was asking God, why you are delaying me? I'm going somewhere. The angel was in because you can't see them. That's why. I, that taught me a lesson. There are times God is asking you to wait because you can see what you cannot see. Why will God be delaying you for nothing? He's a good God. If God asks you to wait, it's for your own good. After you have prayed, you have done everything, and God seems not answering you, continue to praise Him. You know what He's doing? He's a good God. Patient, those who inherit, through patience, they inherit the promise. Faith, and patient that God we have done everything you asked us to do we pray, we fast, we give we are just going to wait and believe and suddenly their breakthrough come this month God of suddenly will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ while you are waiting it's not the time to be running after prophets they will pollute your answer the lady came to see me one day when we were in that hall Three prophets. One said there's no way. One said there's a way. One said both of them. So what do you want me to do? I said go back. Go a big one. I used the opportunity to preach. And they are taking money. Then, don't worry. We are going to do something for you. Bring 250. Ah. Even our tithe is less than 250. 250 pounds. To do something. Let me tell you their secret. They will take your money. They will take your story, go and give to somebody to pray, give them the answer, and tell you. <laughs> can you see that we are not we are not well at times? Even you yourself, you can pray, God will answer you. They are now using you business. You discuss something with me now to pray for you. I say, ah, and I'm not going to let's go and see this is a prophet. Prophet, I have a sister in my church. You are not stupid, but I think she's not well. You tell me I'm God. Maybe you two go to someone we don't know. <laughs> and it's true. You give me an answer, I'll not come. Oh, my Kaya Bosinta. God said. That's what is happening. When you can pray, you can please God. You can turn your life around. Let's try and talk. John 14 and verse 15. Keep this word. John 14 and verse 15. If you love me, that's the last key to please God. You can put it on. Let everybody read it. John 14 and verse 15. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. We are waiting. We want to read it together. Everything we have said, if truly we love God, let's read it. If you love me, Jesus said, keep my keep my words, obey me, obedient. Everything we have said today, if truly you love God, obey His word. Above all, is our Thanksgiving service. Learn how to give thanks to God. Be grateful. Listen. Be grateful to people. <coughs> Pastor is a woman being. There's no way we will not feel it unless we want to deceive ourselves. 
God use somebody for you. They don't go through everything because of you. And suddenly, they don't know how to do it anymore. Uh -uh. Even God is not happy. And pastor, people are coming to church. I appreciate them. Let's close our eyes and pray. Help me to please you, Lord. Pray to God. Help me to please you. I know it's not breakthrough service. You won't pray that prayer. If it's prayer of money, now break to you, pray. Teach me to please you. To walk in obedience to the world. If a man ways pleases the Lord, God himself will subdue your enemy. He will be the one to fight your battle. He will be the one to break through for you. So we must please him. Above all, we must know how to thank him. He's a good God. He woke you up this morning. God is providing for you. You cannot pay for your health. On this mountain, God is doing great and mighty things. We need to appreciate him. Pray, pray, pray very well. Teach me to please you. Teach me to obey you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Just one prayer. Choir, please be ready. We want to dance. Psalm 20 and verse 5. Is that good? <laughs> <laughs> Before I forget, we're ready. We need to join choir because I realize we are trying to sing the other time. Hmm? <laughs> uh, we need to join choir. Yeah, yeah. What is yeah? yeah. <laughs> this song. This song. <laughs> Psalm 20, verse 5. We will rejoice in your salvation. Yes. That's our story this morning. Yeah. That word rejoice, dear me, I will triumph. Amen. You will triumph this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And in the name of our God, set up our banners. Amen. May the Lord fulfill all Amen. our petitions. Amen. What are we starting from tomorrow? What in this prayer? Yes. And fasting. None of us will do it in vain in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. Even before we ask, our answer will come in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So pray that prayer according to your word. Lead me to triumph in your victory this God. In your power. Go ahead and pray. That's the word of God for us. Claim it. I will triumph. That's the word of God I just gave you. Claim it. This month and beyond. God bless you. I will rejoice. I will triumph in your salvation. Me and my family. Declare it. Then we are going to thank him. I appreciate him. And you will see as you go through the months. God has gone ahead of us. You will see. Lines will fall in pleasant places for you. I will triumph. Claim it. I will triumph in your salvation. People will see me and glorify my God. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I speak the word of God over you. As I hear God. God himself will smile over you this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Why can't you pray that prayer? Lord, smile over me this morning. When God smile over you, everything is settled. Please take that word from me. Mm. Smile over me. Smile over me. Don't joke with the world. That's what God said. 
It's not about prayer today. It's about knowing what to do. Smile, you love me. And perfect all that concerns me. Smile over me. And perfect all that concerns me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at me. Amen. Let's pray for one mommy in our midst now. I don't want to call her out. Raise up your hand, everybody. I can see she's disturbed. Let's pray. Say, Lord, let your peace come upon her now. Go ahead and pray. The person is here. We pray the peace of God over your heart now. Receive the peace of God. I don't know what you are going through, but I come against that trouble. Receive the peace of God. You will come back and testify to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. So, Hashem, you can come behind the camera. I don't want to do this today, but I've been dragged to do it now. Behind the camera, help me point to him that no more affliction. Amen. And you will not die or leave. Amen. There is the grace of God in this house. It's not means God. Those who want to try and kill you from now on, they will die in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Just go ahead and pray. Yes. 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 No more affliction. Affliction will not rise again. Says the word of God. Let the hand of God perfect all that concerns you today. Let there be settlement on this issue. Stand upon the word of God and I decree. So it shall be your life. God has done it in the past. Your own will not become impossible. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everybody go ahead and just bless the name of the Lord. Go ahead and bless the name of the Lord for what he has done today. Bless him, answer. It is well. Bless him, magnify him. For God is good and his mercy endureth forever. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' name we are praying. Thank you, Jesus. Please give yourself space. You want to shout seven powerful hallelujah. Don't slap someone who are dead. It's too close to And don't slap pastor too. You can come up if you want to. Right. Let's clap our assistant pastor. Just for today. Seven powerful hallelujah. Are we ready? One, two, three, go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! 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 We are going to do it again. Many of you are time when I talk, just think, oh, Pastor is just doing it. Be careful. Your hands, both of your hands, if you believe. Seven power of Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Go ahead. Hallelujah! Ah, it's all your heart. Joyfully. Ah, Smile. Hallelujah. Ah, Hallelujah. Ah, I decree in the name of Jesus Christ. God will smile upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your heaven has opened already. It will not be closed again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus said with you, with man, it'd be impossible. You'd be thinking, oh, how am I going to do it? That's what they say every month. It's our month, it's our month, it's our month. And we see nothing. I decree this month. You will not miss it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every 
word of God for us this morning. If you materialize in your life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Favor of God. You see, when God favor you, man have no choice than to cooperate with God. They will favor you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. At work, I said it two Sundays ago, that somebody is going through at work, and it happened. And God has resolved the issue. Amen. I speak now. Somebody is here as well. They are giving you tough time at work. Let the favor of God bring settlement now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And those who will not allow you to live in peace, I ask God to judge them. In the name of Jesus Christ. As we go this month, and myself and my family, accident free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bad report, free, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This month has had a good report. Amen. Good harvest. Amen. Grace. Amen. An overflowing grace. Amen. In your life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The presence of God in this ministry will never depart in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the gate of hell shall never prevail. Amen. Thank you, precious Father. You. In Jesus mighty name we are praying. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's have our seats. God bless you. We come against you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. On my throat. <laughs> my wife gave me. I was, I'm going to expose you. So, <laughs> online. We should do it offline. I was coming, I'm going to say it. I was coming from London when? I was coming for work. You mean that whole girl? Yeah. I just do it as a my friend. For myself. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Before we celebrate, this month we have a lot to do. In two Sundays now on day 20. Love us. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sorry, singles. We are so sorry. Let the single breathe. Don't suffocate them. Yes. <laughs> so we are going to have Lover Sunday. Okay. What's that? Your husband is smiling. And you can invite people outside as well, not only here. And for, I have to be careful. For those of us who are husband and not here, they can join us online. Eh? Abby, what yes. can we do? Yes, they can join us. I think you should come and do this. It's not fair on me. Hmm? No, Pastor. No. Come and do it all my wife. No, Let's clap for Pastor Mrs. Come on. Amen. Amen. God bless you. It's not me, it's Pastor Mrs. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it's not me, it's the welfare team. <laughs> so let's be passing it on. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, we work hard in this country. And I know it's something that a lot of us have expressed, especially families that are moving to a new area, about how this train, that it, how this train manifests on marriages. And we all know that no marriage is working except there are two people working behind the scenes for that marriage. Whatever you see outside that looks beautiful as a marriage, there are two people who are constantly putting in the effort. And part of that effort is dating. And that is one of the things that as Christians we stop doing. Yes. As soon as we are married, we stop dating. Mm. So this day is for couples to date. <coughs> date yourself. Please take that time off at work. Tell your employer you have something important to do. The marriage will not have problems. Yes. If your marriage has issues, it is important. It's more important than your job. When you are settled at home, you are settled everywhere else. That's true. So let's set this day apart. Put some money aside and come together as couples to smile. A lot of us have forgotten how to smile, how to laugh together, yes, so how to eat sleep. together, talk about issues. In situations like that, you find that there, are, there is a lot of things bubbling <laughs> under the surface, and then you'll be able to talk about them. And then you are well equipped to continue. So the service, the service of the day will be based around couples and families. And then we will dress up in the afternoon mm. and go Yay. out to eat and have fun. So this is the 20th, two weeks time. 
So let's book that day of the Sunday and the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Please stand up as we take our general priest. Grateful, shout hallelujah. hallelujah! We are not excited that you have been able to give God your praise. I thought I would see people dancing. Eh? Give God a thanks to your shout. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah! Let's bless our praise. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to give. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. Thank you for this new month. Thank you, Lord. We know, Lord, that you have started doing new things. Yes, Lord. Lord, this month, our testimony shall abound. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. doors will open. Amen. The windows of heaven will pour down unto us in the name of Amen. Jesus. Father, we cover our offerings with the blood of Jesus. Lord, may this go unto you, O God. Father, accept it from us. Amen. Lord, all that you have in stock for us, and even many more. You will release unto us in this month in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. Let's remain standing. We want to dance before we go. We have a gospel singer in the house. Let's welcome my sister, Mariska. Amen. Make sure you dance very well, though. I will share with you. Thank you for coming. God bless you. We want to dance. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are happy that your name has been registered on the week of the list. It's part of the mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.
bless you. Let's clap for her. God bless you. Thank you for coming. I told you she can sing very well. I hope you are energized now. You have a good sign in service today. Mark it. Whenever you have prayed, you've done everything. Man of God just walking. You are welcome, Pastor. God bless you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to decrease myself as I go this way. And walk in the newness of life. Newness of power. Newness of beauty. Just go ahead and declare. It's about a month of new beginnings. Declare new things. There is power in your mouth. Newness of life. Newness in every ramification. Newness. New. God will make everything new for me and my family. You see, I will do a new thing. Not next month. Now, this week, today, it will spring forth. You will see the whole world will testify. They will come and glorify the name of God with you. Declare, declare, declare those things before we share the grace. What do you want God to, to do for you this week and this month? And speak against that mountain in your life. Speak against it. Whatever mountain you are facing, speak against it in the name of Jesus. I will return with testimony. This is my month. My month of divine visitation. My month of restoration. My month of breakthrough. My month of power. My month of lifting. You have one more minute? In the name of Jesus. Decree those things. And don't forget, we are starting our fasting tomorrow. Ask God to renew your strength. If you desire to fast, pray. Say, Lord, renew my strength. As we wait upon you for 14 days from tomorrow, renew my strength, O oh Lord. Let's go ahead and bless the name of the Lord. Let's appreciate him for today's service. Let's return all glory back to him. Father, we thank you for your presence. Thank you for what you have done. We return all glory back to you. May your name be praised forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And so it shall be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I keep hearing this in my head. God will smile upon you this night. Yeah. I don't know who is this. The world is for. God will smile over that situation. We don't know how to do it, but God Himself will come true for you. And you will smile in the name of Jesus Christ. You have started this month well. You and I will finish well in the name of Jesus Christ. No affliction in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Anything called sickness, reproach, and shame, and disappointment, we cancel them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As we go this week, the mighty presence of God will overwhelm us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. People you call upon and people you don't call upon, they will favor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are coming back to testify to the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory. You, May your name be praised forevermore. Amen. In Jesus' name we worship. Amen. Let's share the grace in fellowship. One, two, three, go. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Say to yourself, surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, I will return the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. We are going to shout self hallelujah again. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, go. Let's go. Hallelujah. Two hands. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. God bless you. And have a wonderful week. Do we have first time in the house? Pastor Will is not the first time, right? <laughs> His father. I don't want to put him on. I will stop.